Hello, it's your boy David. I'm welcome to Tear Maker. I did one already for um, MCU movies up to Endgame, and I was gonna do this one as well, but I was gonna wait for Far From Home to come out. I was gonna wait for a new list, but this is the same list I think that was updated, and Far From Home is actually in the in the, in this list as well. So there we go. Just all the modern superhero movies since I think 2000. I think it's all of them. I'm not entirely sure. It might not be, but I think it is. Or it's it's got all the MCU ones, DCEU, Fox X Men and Deadpool so that's all the main ones anyway so it's all good so yeah by the way it says S A B C D let's pretend there's an F alright there's an F okay pretend that's an F okay that is an F it's not a D it's an F just so you know Atman and the Wasp I watched it once didn't think it was bad it just came at the wrong time for me um, after Infinity War I just, wanted to, I just wanted Endgame really badly and Captain Marvel as well so like with that one, I was just like, I didn't love it, I didn't hate it, I just thought it was okay. Um, but it's not an F, so I put it in the C. It's just about okay. If I watch it again, I might like it more, but we'll see. Age of Ultron, the worst Avengers movie, but it's still watchable. I could rewatch it for sure. There's a lot of fun in the movie, it's just that the villain is so underwhelming. The movie's underwhelming in general. It's average at best, in my opinion. But I think it's got rewatch value, so I put it in. Uh, in C. Spider-Man! The Raimi Spider-Man movies, I loved them. Absolutely loved them. They're amazing. They still hold up now as well. I think they're great, so they have to go in the S category. Second one's better than the first one, though. The second one's amazing, so there we go. Apocalypse, F. Aquaman, it's an A. I love the movie. I think it's great. Um, I love the visuals. It has one of the best visuals um, that I've seen in a while, actually. Um, I don't know how it, could, it should have got nominated for Oscar VFX. It really should have. It deserved it. It's not just the visuals though. I love the storyline. It's a great movie. It's a bit cheesy, a bit like some other movies, but I still like it. I still really like it. I really dig it. Um, Mamoru's, I think, is really He plays the character really well, so like, I really like, I really dig that movie. So that's an A for me. Um, Avengers, also an A. Above Aquaman for me. Avengers, I loved it. Like, that's what put the MCU on the map. That's what made me a fan of the MCU, and I think it's a great movie. It's also got one of the best final battles of any superhero movie. Like, the final battle of that movie is just... It's so fun to watch. I could watch it over and over again. It's such a great last 40 minutes or so. I just, I love that ending of the movie. So that's got to be an A. Batman Begins, it's an S. Uh, it's the best one so far. I love Batman Begins. Like, the Dark Knight trilogy is my favorite storyline of anything. Batman's a favorite fictional character, and it's because of the Dark Knight trilogy. Batman Begins is amazing, okay? It's just absolutely amazing. It's almost as good as the Dark Knight. It's not that far off in my opinion. I think it's that good. It's just damn amazing. BVS, I don't think it's that bad. A lot of people say it's terrible. I don't think it's terrible. Honestly, I, I really don't. I think it's actually pretty good. Um, the three hour version is better though, definitely, uh, for sure. But I don't, I, I don't think it deserves the hate. It doesn't. You know what deserves the hate? Where is it? This, this monstrosity, that's got to be an F. Whatever the Schneider Cut is, I want to see it. Okay, whatever the Schneider Cut is, I want to see what they do with the Schneider Cut because, because what, what we actually got was so bad. Like seriously, I liked it at first as well. I don't know why I liked it at first, but then I look back on it like, they ruined Batman, turned him into a damn comedian and let's just, you know what? This is not about ranting. Let's just stop ranting. Let's just do the list. Big Hero 6. Um, I liked it. Um, he had an emotional storyline with the brother as well. Um, and the robot. Can't remember what his name is. Um, this is actually alright. Uh, for a kid's movie, I think it was alright. B. Yeah, I think I put it in a B. Black Panther. Um, it's either A or B. It's a good movie. It's just it's not the best uh, MCU or superhero movie. But it's, it's really good. That's for sure. Um, the CGI does let it down to be fair, but I think the storyline makes up for that and the villain is great as well, so um, For the villain, for the villain, I put an A for the villain mainly um, Is that First Avenger? I assume that's First Avenger This movie is just okay for me, so I'm gonna put that in C Yeah, I think C is fine. I like it a bit more than Ant-Man and the Wasp, so we'll put it there. Captain Marvel 
it's just okay again so I just put it there um, yeah I'll put it in that order Civil War I think it's really good I put that in the B category I, I really love it um, it's just amazing uh, it's got all the Avengers in it or not all of them not all of them it misses two but still it's awesome um, and it's one of the movies where the main battles in the middle when you think about it like the big battle in super movies usually at, usually at the end but the big battle in this movie is in the middle not the most important battle but the biggest ones in the middle which is I like how they change it up a little bit but yeah there we go that, that one's a B um, Dark Phoenix I was disappointed honestly I didn't like it uh, it's not because other people hate it I just don't I just don't really I just don't like it. I didn't hate it I didn't hate it I was just disappointed in it um, I think they messed it up quite badly um, Deadpool um, this is Deadpool 2 I'm pretty sure or is that once upon a time that counts as Deadpool 2 anyway uh, we'll put that in a B and Deadpool in A when Deadpool 2 first came out I thought it was better than Deadpool 1 but I changed my mind now um, I think the first Deadpool was really good and that's an A movie um, Doctor Strange I think it's a really good movie so I'm gonna put that in a B as well I think uh, yes I am Avengers Endgame is an A. It's a it's a really good movie, but like it's not amongst the goats. Um, but it is really good. There was an amazing ending, and it is the only movie that brought a tear to my eye. Like it was that amazing to me. The Tony moment. Oh my god, I was so emotional. It brought a tear to my eye the second time I saw it. Not the first time, but the second time I watched the movie, it brought a tear to my eye. Even though I knew it was coming, it was just the Tony and Peter Mo. Ah. Oh. Uh, just let's just move on. Let's not get emotional. Fantastic Four. Um, to be fair, that one wasn't that bad. I didn't hate that one. That's the only one where I thought, okay, this isn't that bad. It's the other three that really like messed it up. I put it in a C. Um, Far from home. Um, many because of the second half of the movie and the illusion scenes. I put it in a B. I think. First class. A. I think that's a really good movie. Honestly, that's brilliant. Days of Future Past. Uh, I don't know. I might put that in uh, in S. Yeah, S. Days of Future Past is amazing. The best X Men movie. I don't think they'll top it with X Men in the MCU. Like Days of Future Past is the pinnacle. That is so damn good, and I love it. Um, Ghost Rider. I think that's the first one. Um, honestly, I didn't like it that much. It was cool, but wasn't a big fan. Honestly, Guardians 2, in my opinion, is underwhelming. Um, I think it's more underwhelming than Age of Ultron, honestly. Um, so I might put it in F. Now I put it in C, just. Just because the villain is kind of brutal, and I, the, the, I'll, I'll kind of give him that. Guardians, I think that's the first one. That's in A. Guardians of the Galaxy is brilliant. Green Lantern, 100% F. Um, Homecoming, I think uh, I think that's a B. It's a good Spider-Man movie. It's, it's a B, I think. Incredible Hulk, I don't think it's that bad, but it's not like good either. But Edward Norton's portrayal of Hulk is really good, so that's the main reason why it's a pass. I think it's a C. Infinity War, the best MC movie for me. I think that's definitely an S. I think that's an amazing movie that deserves to be amongst the best. Um, but it's, it's not the best. It's not the best, but I think it's arguably top five uh, super movie. Iron Man, really good movie. Uh, no, that's Iron Man 2, sorry. No, that's terrible. That's, a, that's an F. Iron Man 3 is also an F. The first Iron Man, amazing movie, kicked off the MCU, it's, it, it had to work and it did work and it's an A for me, it's just a brilliant movie. The Last Stand is an F. Uh, Lego, Lego Batman, um, I quite liked it, I really liked it, so I'll put it in a B. Logan, 100% S. The best movie in that franchise. This is the best x Men movie, but this is the best um, movie from that same universe. That is just amazing. Uh, that's got to be... Just behind Batman Begins. For me, it's the best Marvel based movie, Logan. Uh, Man of Steel. I used to not like it because I didn't like the version of Spider Man. Uh, Spider Man, sorry, Superman, not Spider Man. But after I watched BVS, I liked him more. So then I went back and watched it and actually like it more now. So I'm going to put it in a B. Uh, no, actually an A. I actually think it's really good. The theme song as well is amazing. So that for me is up there. Mega Mind. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. I'm going to put it in F, but I haven't seen it. So. It's not because I hate it, I just haven't seen the movie, so I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, Origins is an F. Um, Ragnarok, 
I think it's a B. I think it's good. He gets a lot of hate for the uh, for the comedy, but I think it's still a good movie. Shazam is also a B. I think it's a good movie. Um, Amazing Spider-Man 2. Okay. So, wait a second. That's the Raimi trilogy. That's not. That's not Raimi. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. My bad. Uh, I'm pretty sure that, that's the Raimi trilogy. Uh, uh oh. That's not. That's not. Um, Great, is it? I should have recognized that actually. The first Spider Man movie is a B. I think it's actually a good movie. Uh, this one, though, is an F. I don't know what they're thinking. For Raimi, uh, Raimi is definitely up here. Um, Spider Man 2 and 1. And that's the third one, so that's going an F. Uh, Spider Verse is an S as well, so that, that's just a really good movie. Ghost Rider 2, haven't seen it, so I'm going to put it an F. Because I, I haven't seen it anyway, so... Suicide Squad. It's actually quite funny, to be fair. I'd rewatch it, but... It's not a good movie. So, F. Dark Knight Rises is a B. It's a really good movie. I love it. I love the ending as well, but it's not, like, amongst the best. But it's still, like, really good. Um, the Dark Knight is the GOAT. The best superhero movie of all time. In my opinion. Just so you know. It's my opinion. Alright, calm down. Calm down with your shouting. For the Dark World, the worst MCU movie. Incredibles! Incredibles, the first one is an A. The second one I think is good as well, uh, but it's a B for me, I think. Thor, average at best. F, I'm gonna put it in F. Venom, I liked it, honestly. I did, I enjoyed the movie, so I'll put it in C. It's not great, but I did enjoy it. Winter Soldier is 100% an A. Um, Wolverine. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Um, I quite like it. I'm gonna put it in a C. It, it starts off really well, then just you know, Wonder Woman is an A for me. I love that movie. I think it's really good. So that's got to be up there. X Men. I gotta tell you, this is unpopular, but I'm not a big fan of the um, the first two X Men movies. I'm not a big fan. I'm a huge fan of First Class, Days of Future Past, but not of these two. I don't know why. Like I didn't hate them. I'm just not a big fan. So for me, in my opinion, they're both C's. Yep. Ant-Man. It's not a great movie, but it's not bad either. And it's fun. It's fun. It's, it's a heist movie that works. It's just funny. Um, and I do enjoy the movie, so that one has got to be a C. So let me just order these around. Um, Thor The Dark World has got to be... Actually, no, this has got to be bottom. The Justice League is, is terrible. Um, Suicide Squad I thought was quite fun So I'm going to put this quite high up in the F <laughs> And because I haven't seen The ones I haven't seen I'll put like at the top of this Hang on uh, What else have I heard? Yeah I haven't seen this one Ghost Rider 2 I haven't seen these two So I'm going to put them at the top of the F But I haven't seen them So Actually I don't know Yeah actually no The ones I haven't seen I'll put at the bottom Yeah I think that works better um, So these are the worst ones um, Spider-Man 3 Origins has got to be bottom No, it's, it's above Justice League still uh, The Last Stand as well um, no, it's, it's above, it's above, it's, it's below Thor it's, it's below Thor of the Dark World I think um, Amazing Spider-Man 2 is the worst Spider-Man movie So it, it's, it's above Thor of the Dark World um, It's below Thor, the original Um Green Lantern is definitely uh, awful. Although I like it a bit more than Dark than the Dark World, so I put that one. Actually, no. Yeah, I put that one there. Move that one up. Um, Spider-Man three. Iron Man two is. <sighs> Don't even want to talk about it to be honest. Um, Apocalypse is disappointing, but also not completely terrible. So I put it up here. Iron Man 3, I don't, I mean, I don't think it's good, um, but um, I could rewatch it probably, so I'll put that there. Ghost Rider is above the Dark World, <laughs> below Iron Man 2, actually no, above Iron Man 2. It's not entirely terrible. Green Lantern I actually don't think it's like, I mean, it's, it's bad, it's just not like worse than these. Um, like an Apocalypse. Spider-Man 3, Iron Man 3, uh, Dark Phoenix, um, 
honestly I found it disappointing uh, yeah yeah I found it disappointing like really disappointing so there's my F category these two I haven't watched but the rest is like worst to worst so um, there we go all right Captain America Captain Marvel um, okay that's interesting hmm I'm gonna move uh, this one off here these up here X2 above X-Men um, I don't hate them but I just don't love them honestly um, that's hmm I'm gonna leave Age of Ultron there actually I just, I'm just saying it because this has more rewatch value than these two I feel um, I need to watch that one again uh, this one is wait a second there's only one of them they didn't include the other Fantastic Four movies just the uh, just the one and that was the worst one <laughs> so I thought that was the uh, 2005 one whoops we'll put that there there's a fail of a video in it <laughs> um, yeah it's there Fan 4 stick is terrible so not all the superhero movies but uh, all the main ones anyway so it's all good um, but yeah C is I think No, I, I enjoy Ant-Man and the Wasp, I think I'll put here, I think. Um, Guardians 2 down there. Nah, actually, I think I'll leave that at that. I think the C category is fine. Incredibles. Um, I love the Dark Knight story, so I'll put that up here. Um, Big Hero 6, I'll leave it down there. I love, I like it, I'm just not a huge fan. Civil War I think is better than BVS. Um, yep, yeah, Deadpool 2. Doctor Strange. I, just, I still really like BVS by the way, I'm just uh, putting those above it. Um, Ragnarok, Shazam. Um, Incredibles is this Incredibles 2 though. And I'll put that there. Yeah, I'll put that one there. Um Homecoming. Uh, it's better than Homecoming. Far Home is better than Homecoming. Yeah, I think that's fine with B. Uh let's move on to A. Um Winter Soldier, 100 percent Uh it's gotta be up there. Hello, <laughs> Endgame, there, uh, Incredibles, it's got to be there, Wonder Woman, uh, I think can go there, uh, Aquaman, yeah, put Deadpool there, Wonder Woman, Black Panther, First Class, yeah, I think that's Ooh, Guardians as well. First class goes there, I think. Guardians, I think, goes above. Hmm. I'll put it just below Endgame. Um, Iron Man has to be up there as well. So yeah, that's A. Uh, Man of Steel, Black Panther, Wonder Woman, First Class, Aquaman, Deadpool, Incredibles, Iron Man, Avengers, Guardians of the Galaxy, Endgame, and Winter Soldier. And then an S. Uh, the top three I think are secure uh, for sure uh, Infinity War I think makes number four um, Spider-Man 2 at fifth I think is fine yeah there we go uh, these are the best ones for me The Dark Knight, Batman Begins, Logan, Infinity War, Spider-Man 2, Spider-Verse, Days of Future Past and Spider-Man so there we go um, that is my tier list I messed it up slightly because uh, I thought it was the Raimi ones that were the other Spider-Man ones and there's no F4, there was only one of them in, which is the worst one I haven't seen two of them uh, but that is my tier list for modern superhero movies this is your boy Davidoff please like, share, subscribe thanks for watching have a good day and see ya